But this is what you do, is you go up to File, you go to Import, you find Movie. And you have to put your movie on your laptop somewhere in a folder. So here's one right here. It's already, and as you can see, it's like 10, about 10 megabytes. I'm going to click on that. This is a walk through. And I open it. What it's doing is it's extracting the audio information as well as the video. And it takes a while. This is a, like I said, this is a, you know, this is probably like your average uh, video file here. It's gonna take a little while to uh, render out. Goal here is to make sure you're sending a file that's under like, you know, 20 megs, pretty good, but nothing over like 150 or something like that. The higher, the higher the amount, the longer it's going to take, or it might just not even work at all. It's too big. Even once it's converted, uh, you can have trouble with it. Okay, so we're almost done. So it brings it in and it says, okay, I'm going to call it this. If you like me, I'll call it uh, this name. You can also give it a different name if you like. Um, and then this is it. This is your keep uh, bitmap original bitmap, that's kind of what I want. Um, but there are things you can do. You can make it into a tune bitmap or a tune vector drawing. And sometimes that'll convert it. I'm not gonna do that right now because it will take longer. So I'm just gonna leave it that and say, okay. As Soon as I do that, look what happens. It adds here, let me turn this off. And as you, there's my guy walking along. It also brings in the uh, audio information right up here. There's your audio information. There's your video information. And this is great because you can now, uh, you, can, you can see how you can actually kind of do a little rotoscoping here. So you can actually see that right here is a contact position. And if you want to, again, you can make this a little dimmer by going in between the walk, like this information here and the plus sign. You click this twice. And what I'm going to do is just make it so it's not so bright here. So you can go up here and click on this. It says advanced. You click that tab and you see it says opacity 100. I'm going to make this like 40%. To say there and look what happens. Maybe that's a little too much. So let's just make it 60. There we go. Now I can see some detail. And then you close it. And now if you have a different layer, I'm just going to make a layer. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to say drawing layer. I'm going to say walk. I'm going to say add and close. It places it right on top. That's great. Here's my contact position and the other side, the other leg on that side. And you notice that there's the arm. So we're doing this. There's a the head. Just kind of following this, putting some little details like that. And that, that's about it. All right. So we got that. And then you can actually go forward here see where that midpoint is. About here looks like a good midpoint. This is his passing position here. There's his arms. Got like a sweater here like that. Again, this is on the other side of his body. Okay. So now you can see how, how many frames does it take to get from here to here, and you can count. This is all on one, so every single frame is going to be different, right? So there's that, and now let's go to the next. Remember, the heel hits the ground right about here, and you can see his arm is kind of like right here. His body's out there, his head's right here, his leg is. Front, 
kind of curving out this way. There's the heel and the toe. Heel and toe. There you go. And that other arm is kind of like right in here. So there you go. Boom, boom. So these would be my poses that I could do like a pose test. Now the thing is, I don't want to do all these drawings. The drawings here going from one key to the next. So there's the next key. You see, there's his head, doing this kind of fast. His leg is the one in front. And that's the one in behind. So we got this one, we got the front leg, there's the next leg. So look at my timeline, look at this. It took him, him 10 frames to get to here. 10 frames to there. So it's like 20 frames, almost 20 frames. Actually, if you look at the uh, Animation Survival Kit book, uh, Richard Williams discovers it's about 17 drawings takes one step if you're doing it on one. I'll put the third one in here. <laughs> here we go. All right, and there's that leg back there. All right, I just want to show you that. We'll take this again, and uh, that's how you do that.